We're now going to look and see how the insertion point affects reference drawings when you bring them into the current host drawing. So as you can see, we're back to where we were before. There's the ground floor there. There's the first floor there. I've got a drawing open called insertion point complete. If you want to follow along with the video, as usual, you know the drill. Go and find insertion point .dwg in your working files. So let's have a look at this now, the insertion point. Now this is very important because if you're working with known coordinates, your insertion point will be a known coordinate. So again, I'm going to go back to the insert tab on the ribbon and go to attach. And I'm going to insert the topography first, like I did in the previous video, and I'm going to click on open. Now I'm not going to make any changes to anything on here. It's going to be an attachment reference type, Scale is going to be 1. Insertion point I'm going to leave at 0, 0, 0, and I'm going to untick specify on screen. I'll show you why in a moment. Path type will be relative, angle 0, unit millimeters. Click on OK, and there's our topography, and I'll just zoom out so that we can see all of it. Now, where that's been inserted is at 0, 0. There's the X and Y right there on the corner. So that corner there is actually 0, 0. So if I did an ID point on that, if I go to the Home tab on the ribbon and I go to Utilities here and click on the down arrow and go ID point and select that endpoint snap there. Now I need my O snaps on for this, so I'll switch O snap on. There's the endpoint. As you can see, X, Y, and Z are 0. So that's the insertion point for my topography reference file. Here's the interesting bit. If I go back to insert now and go to attach again and select my footprint foundation and click on open, that also, when it gets inserted, goes in at 0, 0. You'll see there, insertion point, specify on screen, 0, 0, 0. It's an attachment reference type. We're not going to scale it. If I relative path it like so, that's fine, and the angle 0. So when I OK that now, that comes into the drawing, and if I zoom in, you can see there it is there. There's the reference there going around the building, showing the foundation of the building. So I'll zoom out and hit Escape to deselect. Now that has also been inserted using this 0, 0 point here. So what happens if I undo that reference? I'll just do an undo up there on the Quick Access Toolbar. So I've removed that reference file. So if I go to Attach again now, and select Footprint Foundation, and click on Open, and this time I use insertion point specify on screen. Notice X, Y, and Z are greyed out. I'll leave everything else as is. Click on OK. There's the crosshair showing me the offset between the reference and the crosshair. Now if I come down here and use that point there, which I know is 0, 0, and click, that reference goes in the right place. Can you see that? There it is there going around the building. Now I'm just going to delete that. That reference is going to go. I'm going to go here to the palette, and you'll see Footprint Foundation is unreferenced because I deleted it. So what I'll do there is I'll click on it, right click, and detach it completely. Notice when I delete a reference, it still remains in the palette. It is still a reference, it's just unreferenced in the current host drawing. So if ever you're going to remove a reference completely, go into the palette, select it, like topography, right click and detach. Don't just delete it because it's still in the drawing. It's just an unreferenced reference. I'll close the palette now. Let's go back to attach again. Footprint foundation and click on open. This time I'm going to untick specify on screen and I'm just going to put some values in here. Let's say a thousand for the X value and also a thousand for the Y value. So I'm not specifying it on screen, I'm actually specifying the value in there. It's an attachment reference type, everything else can remain the same. I click on OK, and can you see, if I lose the unreconciled layers there, and zoom in, it's all been offset by a thousand. So if I go a thousand along and a thousand up, there's the corner of my foundation, it's in the wrong place. Now what I could do there is I could physically move that if I wanted to. If I zoom out and select that reference like that, there's the point there. So if I click on that grip and then just move that grip down to there, it's now in the right place. So I can move the reference if I place it incorrectly. 
So I just need to remember which coordinates I placed incorrectly. So what I was able to do there was I was able to click on the actual reference itself and there's the grip there. So as long as I remember which coordinates I've placed incorrectly, I can move using that grip and drop that back to the zero zero point where the X and Y origin intersect. So that's how you can utilize your insertion point in AutoCAD when inserting your reference files into the current host drawing.